Hello everybody, Mumbles Mumble here. Today we're going to cut some wood for some apart house trailers. Make sure you always wear your safety glasses. Okay, so these are the templates I have made for my birdhouse, teardrop birdhouses. Templates I've made before, and all I do is trace them out on the wood. They're both exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which one you trace out. I just grab a pencil. I just basically go around it here. What's cool about these, they don't have to be perfect. Then I take them over to my scroll saw in a second here. Let's do this one here real quick. I'm using 3 8 plywood. I can't really show you on this one. I guess I can. Let's see. Measure it by the one inch mark there. It's not the usually the plywood I use. I try to use a more denser wood because when you're uh, hammering the wood in here, it splits. So we got somewhat the shape of a teardrop. Doesn't look like much yet. But now I'm going to run it on my sander and finish the job. Just got off the scroll saw and now we're going to sand it down see how well that works. Turn it down the way you like it. Doesn't have to be perfect, just a birdhouse. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna smooth off the edges here. Put the sides. Okay, so I got my nail gun all ready to go, so we'll give it a try. I really don't like nail going up high like this. I'm afraid I'm gonna get nailed myself. But I'll give it a try. And I'll lost my glasses again. Always wear your safety glasses. I just don't want to get nailed in the chest. side here. All right, that's close enough. It's okay that the nail's sticking out here because this is going to be covered anyways. But that worked pretty good in this my trailer jig. All right, so I got a one and a half inch drill bit with uh, my hole for my birdhouse. Make a cut here. Got our holes drilled, everything looks pretty good. Next off is we're going to be putting the skin over the whole thing. So I use a little more. I need to make a couple of them, so 
I'm just going to trim all the way down there. And all I use is a regular pair of scissors to cut this stuff. And it's pretty thin, so it works out not too bad. Okay, so I use these little wood tacks. I'll show you what I have here. I use these little wood tacks here. Hammer in my stuff. And sometimes I'll use my hole punch to get through the aluminum so I can hammer it on a little better. And I start off like this. I have a little extra room on both sides. I could trim that off later with a pair of scissors. And I just uh, get this ready. I'll hit it with the hole punch. Let's see where do I want it? Right about there. And that puts a little hole in it first. Got to keep it somewhat straight on there. And then you just hammer it right on there. There we go. This is my version of a teardrop birdhouse. Some of these nails are already popping out, but that's okay because I usually just epoxy them back in. Then I do a little bit of trimming here. I'm going to take my desktop sander and um, sand off the rough edges so it's smooth it out. Popsicle sticks, popsicle sticks make great axles. I've got some here a little bit trimmed. We're gonna set them up like this. Got the trailer here. Let's set this up like this. I'm gonna glue all three of these together. Put it out like this. Boom. Got yourself axles. And then you get yourself some wheels, which I have a bag of wheels I bought from a thrift store right here. Thrift store is a great place to get stuff. And I got my two sets of tires I could just put on the side. I would decide which ones, either the white ones here with the little axles, or I've got these, uh, I've never seen these pre 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 prepared when I'm doing this. I got these gray axles here. Depends on what color I paint it. This one's a little chewed up, but it's a birdhouse. Who cares? For my windows on the birdhouse, I use a cheap particle board. Then I round out corners off. I set it up and I make little windows for the front, back, the sides. And I'll make a little tiny one on the corner here so it looks like it has a little window on top. I'm going to use some black decoupage paint paint them all up and then we spray a clear coat lacquer over them so at least they waterproof for hours. Got our uh, stuff painted for my second coat on my windows. I'm going to paint this uh, trailer white on both sides. Okay so I got one side painted so we're going to paint the other side here. Okay so this side's pretty dry. Let's do the other side here. My bigger window. Almost done. 
try to use all that I can. Some on this little window right here. Oh, cool. Put this window on. Doesn't have to be totally perfect, just sort of eyeball it where you think it should be. Little window up here. All right, let's uh, let those dry. In. Okay, so I think the glue is dry enough for this. Get this stuff done. I drilled a couple holes in this right here for the axle to screw it on to the bottom of the trailer. Now this is long enough to fit across here. See how long we can make it. Trim this off just a little bit. Doing this a new way, we're going to drill a couple of holes in this here. It's going to stick on a little better. It's probably overkill, but hey, overkill. I always overkill everything I do. See? I'll glue them together and I'll make little propane tanks that sit on the front of the trailer like that. Alright, let's paint this part white. <clears throat> Alright, you see I got this all painted up. It looks pretty good. I'm going to add my little propane tanks I made, which are right here. I'm just going to glue those on right there. Paint those up. Um, still using what's left of my epoxy here. Enough glue to stick right there and a little bit on the edge right here. Get it stick it to the front of the trailer. We'll see how that looks. Get it somewhat centered. Alright, got to add another window here and one in the back. Let this dry up a little bit. Okay, we got our tires attached, our windows glued on. Everything looks good. Um, it looks a little plain here, so I'm going to add a little door to it. Give it some color. Make it look good. I usually paint sometimes the, uh, the trailers different colors, stripes, whatever. This one I'm just going to leave white with the colored door. And it's almost done. Alrighty then. Add some epoxy to the door right here. It's on. Epoxy around that. on there. We also have this uh, set up. Our little uh, perch for the birds. Add a little more epoxy in there. There we go. This here will help line up the door too. Let's get a good picture of that one there. Just glue that on in there. Excellent. All right, we'll let that dry. And we'll add those. Okay, so we have our door glued on. Looking pretty good. 
I'm going to add our eye bolt. I already marked it. Just right in the center, try to center it up the best you can. I hold it up like this, just to see. Let's show you a better way this. Put this down here. See if you put the eye bolt over here, it's just going to be seeing this hanging this way. So I just try to find the happy center. So right about there. I have my marks right here. I have my marks right there. Just put up and right in the center here. There we go. Get a little eye bolt like this. Local hardware store. Just screw it in. There you go. Got yourself one birdhouse trailer teardrop. Looks pretty good. I like it. I'm gonna go hang it up. Hi, Mumbo Jumbo here. Please subscribe to my channel or check me out on Facebook.